There seems to be a lot of similarities between these two devices as there are differences. As a result, we have had many asking us to do a comparison and this video is for you all. This is Sandeep from Rev Atlas and here's what the handsets have to offer. The Honor 9 Lite is available in 3GB, 32GB as well as 4GB, 64GB variants at a price of Rs. 10 9 and Rs. 14 9. The 7X on the other hand is available at Rs. 12 9 for the 4GB, 32GB and Rs. 15 9 for the 4GB, 64GB variants. Both the phones have great pricing for the base variants but is a bit on the higher side for the upper variants. What this also means is that since they both share the same Kirin 659 octa-core processor, the 7X performs better by default, especially for multitasking with the extra gig of RAM. It won't make a huge difference, but for people who are usually heavy on apps and games, the 4 gigs of RAM may come in handy. Both support hybrid dual SIM card slots as well as 4G LTE and Volti. They have the same 18 to 9 aspect ratio for their Full HD Plus displays. However, the difference in sizes has also resulted in different footprints. The 7X is naturally larger with the 5.93 inch display compared to the 5.65 inch display on the 9 Lite. The 9 Lite is not just more compact but it also feels more effortless to use thanks to a dual glass design that sandwiches the aluminium frame. The 7X on the other hand feels more durable and sturdy, albeit at a bigger size. Fans of smaller phones will prefer the 9 Lite no doubt, but be wary of the glass that won't be as strong as the aluminium back on the 7X in case of drops. The 9 Lite also doesn't seem to have any branded scratch resistant glass at the front or back while there's an unspecified version of Corning Gorilla Glass on the 7X. Sharpness seems similar on both the displays, however the brightness and sunlight legibility were different. We found that the 7X offered better brightness and sunlight legibility compared to the 9 Lite. Both pack micro USB ports, however the batteries are of different capacities. There's 3000 mAh battery under the hood of the 9 Lite, while the 7X gets a beefier 3340 mAh battery. Despite the larger screen, it seems like the 7X does win out in terms of endurance since it gave us around 30 minutes extra screen on time than what the 9 Lite was able to deliver. In terms of optics, the 7X has a dual camera setup at the rear and so does the 9 Lite. The difference between the two lies in the primary camera which is a 13MP unit on the 9 Lite but a 16MP unit on the 7X as both also have 2MP depth sensors and f2.2 aperture. The rear camera setup is better on the 7X and it does produce better images in terms of the overall quality, sharpness, detail and low light performance. The difference is marginal but it does exist particularly in terms of low light performance. The advantage of the 9 Lite lies in the front camera setup since it packs a secondary depth sensor that the 7X lacks as well as a higher resolution 13MP camera compared to 8MP unit on the 7X. This results in better images with better dynamic range, more detailing as well as better portrait modes. The 7X also does good blurring for a single camera device but the edges aren't as refined as what you'd get from the 9 Lite. I would personally prefer the 9 Lite as an overall camera since the difference between the front cameras are more tangible than the difference between the rear cameras. It's not an easy pick between the two phones. If you're looking for a value for money handset, then the 9 Lite is the clear winner. 3 gigs of RAM is enough for most people and overall, you're getting 95% of the experience that the 7X offers and an even better front camera. However, if you need a larger display as well as use the extra gig of RAM, Perhaps it's a better option to get the base variant of the 7X rather than spend much more on the 4GB variant of the 9 Lite. We include a purchase links for the smartphones in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next one.